Today we are going to do pages 593 and 594, check my progress for chapter 10. So first let's start with the vocabulary. I'm going to choose the correct words to complete each sentence. So number one, a blank is a number that represents an equal part of a whole or an equal part of a set. Well, let's look at our options. We have denominator, numerator, fraction, and unit fraction. We know it's not going to be denominator or numerator because those are parts of a fraction. So we know it has to be one of these two. And we remember a unit fraction always is an equal part. So I think unit fraction is probably more number two, exactly one equal part of a whole. So I'm going to drag unit fraction. down over here. Okay, so that leaves just a regular fraction to be down here. Now number three, the blank tells the number of equal parts being represented. While we know that a denominator tells us the total number, so this one must be the numerator. So I'm just gonna put num, and you know what I mean. And then that leaves the denominator for number four. I'm just gonna put denom. That, we'll know that's denominator. Right, on to number five. We're gonna divide the whole into equal parts and then label each part with its unit fraction. So number five, it says six equal parts. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they want the unit fraction. So we know that's always gonna have a one on top and our total number on the bottom. So it's gonna be one, six, all the way across. And this way we can also check that we have six parts. Okay, on to number six. Now we just need three equal parts. So one, two, three. Our unit fraction being one over our total, so one third. Now on a number seven, we're gonna circle the correct unit fraction for the shaded section. So we just have one shaded of one, two, three, four pieces. So that's gonna be one fourth. For number eight, we've got only one, two pieces. It's gonna be one half. And for nine, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So one, eight. On to the next page. Now we're gonna complete the chart and write the fraction for each part. So they wanna know the part that is green. So we have a total of one, two, three, four pieces. So our total is always gonna go on the bottom and that's gonna be the same over here too. And all four are shaded green. So we'll say four fourths. And the part that's not green is zero. On to 11. So we have one, two pieces. So that's our denominator, our total. And the part that is green, just one. So the part that's not green, also one. Now we're gonna shade each set to represent the fraction. So three, six. Well, we're just gonna shade one, two, three pieces. And then we have three blank. 13, we want seven eighths shaded. So we're just gonna shade seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, leaving one blank. Number 14, Sydney has eight packages of sticky notes. Five of the packages are pink, one is green, and two are blue. Write a fraction to show what part of the sticky note is not pink. So not is gonna be our keyword here. Now, since we know that there are eight packages, let's draw a diagram that has eight parts. Okay. 
we know five are pink. So we can say pink, two, three, four, five. One is green and two are blue. So they wanna know what is not pink. So if I switch my color to pink, maybe that will help us show which ones aren't pink. So this is pink, this one's pink, this one's pink here and here. So that leaves us three are not pink. So three over our total number of eight. Now number 15, what fraction of the figure is shaded? And let me color in this a little bit more so we can tell what's actually shaded. So we can see we have one, two, three, four, five pieces are shaded out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So is that one of our answers over here? Yep, five eighths is our answer. And that's it. That's all of check my progress.